Okay, and this is game three between uh, Radio Waves and FOD. Didn't really like that last interface. Uh, I'm not sure if I like this one any better. Um, uh oh, uh, yeah, GLHF indeed. Um, yeah, I I might have to start this again. I, I I don't know about this interface. This is a bit, it's a bit weird, isn't it? It's a bit weird. What I don't know. Hmm. Let's go with it for the time being. Uh, I just mm, what? It's all, no. Mm. Anyway, uh, this is Radio Waves. He's in the bottom right of Echo, and up in the top left is Fod, who is playing Terran. Crazy. Uh, if he wins in this game, he's going to be like, why didn't I play Terran in those last two games? Uh, anyway, a uh, very standard looking opening with the supply depot at the top of the ramp and uh, the barracks next to, the, next to it to form a wall. Supply depots, of course, can be raised and lowered so that you can let your units in and out. Uh, what the actual... So Radio Waves just going ahead and lobbing a hatchery in the middle of the map, um, <coughs> as you do. Uh, just just for a laugh, I suppose. Uh, if you've watched the first two games, you'll know that uh, Radio Waves is 2-0 up, so I guess he's like, oh, well, it's the best of three and I've already won. So let's just, you know, let's just go for it, man. Uh, if you're going to do that, why not here? Just just slap right in your opponent's natural for fun. Uh, anyway, uh, what's in the production tab? Some stuff. Uh, engineering bay for the Terran. A marine for the Terran. Very sensible indeed. You know, build a marine. Um, eBay, very useful. Allows upgrades, but also allows you to build missile turrets. And missile turrets are useful things. Uh, this gas has finished, but no workers mining yet. None. None whatsoever. Barracks is finished, uh, so really he needs to turn this command center into an orbital command so that he can drop mules and drop scans and those types of things. Another barracks coming down, so we're going to see a barracks heavy build by the looks of things. Uh, I don't see any upgrades being researched, so I'm not sure what the eBay was for, but uh, maybe we'll find out soon. Over in Zergland, uh, the evolution chamber has also been built, uh, but no upgrades happening just yet. Uh, neither is speed being researched, but he does have enough gas to research it. Uh, maybe he's already got speed. Has he already got? No, no. Where would you? Why? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Upgrades, nothing, nothing in the upgrades tab whatsoever. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, APMs and stuff going on there. No active force. No, that's not what I'm after. Uh, what am I after? What am I? What am I doing? What, what is occurring here? Income tab. Uh, pretty even. Um, so you know what's going to happen in this game. If you're a Terran and you're playing on this map, what sort of play do you go for? It's a very easy to tick and easy to hold expand. Um reasonably wide ramp but not a big problem you know if you've got something like a siege tank something like a um, bunker parked here and here pretty easy to hold this so you know if I'm a Terran I'm expanding pretty early on that map if I'm a Zerg I'm also expanding pretty early because I'm a Zerg and that's what they do this third however for both players is much harder to hold um, it's all the way over here and it has this back door entrance to it now you can destroy this thing and it falls down to block this path off but nevertheless uh, it's quite it's a much harder thing to defend uh, because your stuff will tend to be here trying to defend both of these uh, but if your opponent comes in this way they can pull your stuff out of position and leave you wide open to something running in through this ramp uh, these links parked in the middle here I quite like because uh, those will give you a heads up if anything's moving out across the map. So there's a bunker here and bunkers are good. Um, there are more barracks being built. Uh, there's also a factory being built and factories are good as well because that's going to let you get siege tanks and stuff like that up. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the siege tank, you should get familiar with it. It's a it's a powerful unit indeed. It does splash damage and it has an enormous range. Uh, a very, very effective unit. So, um, all these racks, all these racks, but very few marines being built. Okay, here we go. Some marines being built. Let's have a look at the army supplies, and we see that FOD has the advantage, uh, but Radio Waves has the advantage worker-wise uh, with this Ninja Expo, uh, and that's making quite a big difference to the income. Will uh, yeah, This mule that he's dropped will, of course, 
uh, sort of, if you like, artificially up the uh, Terran income, you can see the difference it makes, uh, just kind of temporarily lifting that from uh, sort of 900 to, to 1200. These units are just on a move command, and so they're just going to get slayed unnecessarily by stuff in the middle of the map. Um, it's going to find that that's quite painful. Uh, letting those lings get a full surround by just walking through them uh, was definitely an error. So not the best of engagements there uh, from the Terran. Had superior, uh, you know, army really, and, and should have killed that, but didn't. Um, combat shield that is being researched makes a massive, massive difference. So uh, that will help a great deal um, once combat shield is finished. That will make a big difference to the longevity of the Marines. Uh, let's have a quick peek at the upgrade. So stem is finished. Uh, plus one attack is finished. Speed is finished. And armor, is, uh, sorry, um, carapace is finished uh, for the Zerg. Looking at the army supplies, uh, Radio Waves has the advantage um, at present. I wonder, however, what the difference is value-wise. Um, yeah, fairly substantial fairly substantial army value difference as well so fod what are you going to do about this what you're going to do but looks of things you're going to wait in the hope that your opponent attacks and um, dies in the process uh, that that seems to be the current plan it's not the worst plan ever it often works uh get this tank sieged up as well um and and you'll be in pretty good shape uh without it sieged up not not as good a ship where is he off to? Where, where's that going? What? Okay, I suppose that's... Yeah, you could do that. Um, yeah, these siege tanks have a mighty range. Look, the, the, the dotted line here gives the range of this siege tank. But you can see this darker area here shows you that actually this area is not within sight of that siege tank. It is not. So while the siege tank can shoot this far, it can only see this far. Uh, nevertheless, both of these tanks um, are well within range of the ramp, and so both of them will be firing at anything that tries to go up that ramp. Uh, Radio is, meanwhile, continuing his bizarre um, expo strategy of just expanding in weird places. Uh, these units, you know, could really use with a uh, medevac. Oh no, this could be horrible. This could be really unpleasant, couldn't it? Doesn't know that these are here. Has no idea. Has no idea. Oh, this isn't going to be nice. The Unburrow uh, will certainly kill essentially all of these Marines. Uh, I'd be tempted to Unburrow this one Ling and wait for the Marines to move over and then just pop all the riches up and, and slay everything. Uh, but rather than doing that, he's just let these things uh, sit there and have a sleep while this uh, pack of Marines walks past it. Um, which I don't know about that as a choice. I think I'd have killed all those Marines. Uh, I think that would have been quite a useful thing to do. Because what have you got at home? Enough to see these marines off? No, you've got nothing at home. Literally nothing. I, I don't know. This this could change things, couldn't it? Uh, okay, Hive is in production for the Zerg. So what's he going to be using that Hive for? I'd love to see some Broodlords. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, these marines, uh, the Zerg will now realise that the pack of marines he allowed to walk past his army are uh, about to walk into his main base. And fod has got to be thinking, where's all your stuff, man? Surely you should have more stuff than these. That's the way. Send the roaches in in a line one at a time. Um, yeah. Going to shoot some stuff here. Don't shoot overlords. That's a waste of time. Shoot the queen. Uh, kill the nidus. That's definitely a good plan. Don't think there was anything in the nidus. Um, so, you know, in the end, didn't really get a great deal done. Killed the Nidus, and that is useful. I'd kill the spawning pool. Uh, I'd focused on that spawning pool. You, you must know that your time is limited, so, I, you know, you've made a start in the spawning pool. I think if you had a stimmed, you probably could have got the spawning pool, and that can be really annoying uh, as a Zerg player, because if you've got no spawning pool, every single bit of tech that you have depends on you having a spawning pool, so you've got to rebuild it. And of course, you can't just dump your minerals into things. Uh, so yeah, that could have been more effective. Could have been a bit more effective, but nevertheless, I uh, got to get into his opponent's base and have a look around. Um, just a bit weird that Radio Waves just let that walk past. Uh, anyway, um, more Marines are in production. The army supplies are not crazily different. Um, upgrades wise, 
the Zerg has plus one missile, plus one melee, and plus one armor. Meanwhile, the Terran has plus one attack and plus no, not plus one armor, uh, but does have combat shield and all of the normal things like stim and concussive shell. Not that I, ha I haven't seen. Oh, he does. He has two more orders, so concussive shell very useful as well. Um, the Zerg at present large amount of money. What's he building with it? Ultralisks, is that what we're going to see? Adrenal glands for lings is devastating. Um, this adrenal glands upgrade is is just so, so meaty. Increase the attack speed of Zerglings by 40%. Makes your lings 40% more effective. Uh, if you've got three, three lings with adrenal glands, it is absolutely brutal how quickly they can just eat stuff. It's miserable. Um, so adrenal glands is happening. Chitinous plating is happening for the ultras. These days, you know, as if ultras weren't already broken, uh, these days that means that ultras have, I think, plus seven armor if you're fully teched up plus seven you know what, what what the hell plus seven armor um which literally makes them indestructible the only thing that will kill ultras really is like maybe some void rays because ultras don't shoot up uh yeah so ultras absolutely love large groups of marines because they uh ultras do sort of splash even though they're melee units because uh, they have that big swipey swipey tusky thing on the front of them so they just slice through marines uh roughly one ultra would kill all of this they would just keep going because they just won't ever die uh, here he is look there he is look at him heavy assault beast has an area damage attack yeah heavy assault beast is right uh, so yeah, these these big slicey claws do uh, just heinous amounts of damage. Uh, these ultras that he's got here are enough to win him the game at this point. Uh, he can just A move those to just click A and click here um, and you'll find that those ultras will win the game for you from here. Uh, yeah, good. So uh, let's have a look at the army supply. It is seriously in favor of the Zerg. Um, I'd be tempted to turn that into a planetary uh, because that will actually do quite well against ultras. Um, widow mines aren't a bad call, but you're going to need a lot of them. Uh, you know, maybe if you had seven or eight widow mines down here, um, that might take. You know, that might that certainly might take about three health off one of these ultras. Um, okay. Uh, when is the fight going to happen? You need to move your siege tanks forward. This one isn't doing anything. This one is too far back. So your siege tanks need to be positioned here. You need a bunker. You need a planetary. Uh, and you need these widow mines um, to be uh -oh, activated. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, look, there's one over here. Uh, so here we go. Uh, no, no, we don't. I thought we did, but, but then we didn't. Uh, this is, this is going to be a bit miserable to watch, I fear. You need the ultras at the front. Because your ultras at present aren't, aren't doing any slaying. There they go. Look at them. Look at them eat stuff. Has he lost an ultra yet? Dog it. Nope. Ultras just... Look at that ultra just taking like multiple siege tank shots to the head. And just he doesn't even care. Look. You know what I mean? Look at him. Doesn't even care. Hasn't even noticed yet that there's siege tanks shooting him. Is he going to lose an ultra here? Unbelievable. Well, uh, I've got to hand it to Fod, he's done incredibly well. He managed to kill an Ultralisk, and that's the dream of every Terran player that's ever played StarCraft. Live in the dream, Fod. Live in the dream. Bit of a hollow victory, uh, given that you're not going to watch the remaining Ultras just crush through your base. Uh, so, yeah, GG, man, GG. Yeah. Yeah. 500 health, plus 7. Seriously. It used to be plus five and then they thought you know what don't see enough ultras in this game uh so let's make them you know just even more outrageous than they already are excellent gg